I'm Carlo Cooper and I started Cooper Groove uh, Performance Drumsticks. I launched the sticks in the fall of 2014 on Facebook. I was at Trader Joe's. Um, I was there for about eight years. I had a, a fun job there. I'd walk to work, wear a Hawaiian shirt, and um, it was great. It was a great job. I, I enjoyed working there. I enjoyed being with people. But, um, you know, slowly as this kind of got busier and busier, I'm like, I need to spend more time doing this. But that's, I was actually walking to work when I launched my first uh, picture of the drumsticks. And I put a picture of them up and it just, my phone blew up for like days. It, you know, kept getting responses. People just responded. I got all kinds of responses like, why didn't I think of that? Or that's amazing. Where are they sold? And then once I sold them and got the feedback, drummers didn't need to wear gloves anymore. Maybe they had certain hand issues. They weren't dropping sticks. And then just word of mouth um, just kept growing and growing, you know, at a good pace where I could manage it and maintain it. Well, I had the idea actually a long time ago um, because I, I never wanted to wear gloves playing the drums. I mean, to me, drums, well, they are the oldest instrument in the world. And, you, you know, you, you want to feel connected to your instrument. But I remember my hands would sweat a lot and I would sand the sticks and I would tape them. And I just got frustrated one day, so I made some scratches down the handle. The breakthrough was when I started doing the cross cuts. So it was really um, necessity is the mother of invention. When I started out, I knew, okay, if I'm gonna groove sticks and you know brand them and sell them, I, I'm not gonna make sticks. So I, I would have the sticks made. So they're American hickory, they're weight sorted. So I basically get the stick like this. I kind of make them to order. I'll dip them if I need to, let them dry, and then I'll move over to my machine and I'll groove them. They're not gonna come out perfect, so I'll have to kind of use like a scour pad to get some of the rubber shavings off. Starting this out, I'm like, okay, I need to buy drumsticks and I need, how do I make the grooves? I started calling all these wood shops. I finally found someone that can groove them and he was able to put them in a, on a CNC table and, and run them across with some, somewhat of a manual process and I would go pick them up and I would small batch them. I found a CNC company in Peoria, Illinois, which is two and a half hours south of here. And I had a machine built to groove the sticks. And you know, it's pretty much an automated process. It's all local business. The drumstick grip um, is made here in Chicago, right in the suburbs of Chicago. The sticks are made here. I'm, I was actually made in Chicago or right outside of Chicago. Uh, my shop is in Chicago. You know, so many people love playing the drums and they could do it without pain without slips and drops and cramps, with less uh, shock, with less fatigue. To me, that's, that's a total honor to be able to do something like that. And I could treat them great in the process, you know, by building this brand that people want to be part of.